Hello everybody! In today's video I want to talk about Sologenic updates they announced last week, about the, those new features they added, uh, about the price of Corum and Sologenic. And before I start, I want to say thank you guys for watching me. More and more people join my channel. It's uh, uh, very important to me. Thank you for all your support, guys. Uh, you know, uh, the first feature they implemented actually now, it is uh, direct purchase of solar uh, in Solardex. It is added uh, here in Fiat. It was only um, XRP previously and now they added uh, solar as well. And now you could uh, buy solar directly in Sologenic Dex uh, using different payment methods like Visa card and uh, those two, I do not uh, know what actually this payments method are, but still there are some other options. Um, like there are some fees associated with Visa card and no, nothing like edit with uh, those two others. So it's good to um, buy actually and uh, now using uh, fiat currency straight here, especially with this uh, price we have now, it is trading only at 25 cents. Uh, you know, if we check the price uh, historically for Sologenic, uh, you could see that it is almost the minimum price actually. Uh, long term, you see here it's like um, April. March 2020 it was the same price as we have now and yeah, if we like open this logarithmic chart you could see that it's the same price but it was actually only small periods of time it was lower than uh, now or uh, like the same one so like I think it's very good uh, buy zone now and uh, I think all of you actually I uh, remember, if not, you know that uh, Sologenic has uh, um, like inflation, um, it's inflation retoking and they have like the burning mechanism. Uh, that's why you see the total supply is less than maximum supply. And um, you know, the um, when uh, NFT is minted, the three solar are burned. Uh, so, uh, once this NFT marketplace uh, will explore, it uh, will absolutely will case the growth of uh, solar uh, token. For now, uh, to be honest, I do not see any significant growth. It is um, 74k of NFT was minted uh, from the beginning since February. It is like 3-4 months already. For NFT marketplace for solar, but it's uh, not uh, much uh, so far in my opinion. Uh, but uh, you know the developing uh, like this and creating some uh, features to support the artists. So they have created Prime uh, program uh, to support artists to promote them to give some like um, opportunities for them. So it is. Uh, something uh, that they're working on and uh, one more reason why it's not like exploring very fast uh, you know I checked like the volume for NFTs now you know the overall market situation is really like quite uh, bearish and same happening like um, in my like feelings with NFTs uh, you know, like OpenSea volume says like that it's rising in crude, uh, to, uh, in April compared to March. Um, you know, yes, it looks like a lot of volume and OpenSea due to this like article and maybe it's the data from them. I do not know the source of this, but I checked also Google Trends and here is uh, the interest for um nft so it is like nfts open c nft mini i just wanted maybe some people are googling it uh so and you see that since uh, like january then it's only decreasing the interest of people for nfts um same is happening with uh, open c so uh, yeah we could say that in general the market is not uh, like um good to like buy it and everything so that's why i think it's quite 
okay for now that Sologenic Dex is not exploring like that fast as good uh, but it's like overall situation um, in the market for like crypto and NFT as well and uh, you know and one more feature they added and going to add actually it is IDO launch part it is the one feature of uh, cool two they announced previously and they also commented this um, like middle of last week uh, so they will like add the launch part to their decks for the new projects of xrp uh, ledger so same as everywhere startups could raise the funds uh, and uh, like like us as their users could invest in those small projects and they have some tokens afterwards and it's like pretty average uh, procedure but it's like something that they would uh, want like to add um you know i think it's also sounds great i just uh, want uh, like the projects to be developed using xrp ledger you know normally like uh, nowadays when we see the new projects are coming those mainly launching are uh, uh, binance smart chain solana uh, polygon uh, like uh, some other blockchains but um, it is not much on xrp ledger or maybe it's not me seeing this much but you know even for now if we open like tokens on xrp ledger it is by activity it is now sologenic is the leader and the quorum here also in top 10 uh, so uh, you know more project coming to xrp ledger more opportunities to Sologenic here as well but it's again uh, depending on the like XRP ledger as a ecosystem uh, so it's it's not only depending on uh, solar yeah but you know if they're also adding BNB smart chain uh, it is potentially could be a BNB um, projects as well this is also good opportunity for uh, Sologenic platform because uh, you know they already added this uh, bridge for um, solo to uh, Binance Smart Chain so I feel if potentially this um, IDEO launchpad will also have uh, BNB Smart Chain projects it will be much more projects and uh, people will be more interested so it's a good opportunity and uh, you know with current price of Sologenic uh, of 25 cents Quorum actually costs uh, more compared to Sologenic it is trading at 31 cent for now and actually um, you know we are waiting for now for their technical white paper to be announced and published um, released actually <laughs> in june uh, and it is also Corel devnet and this uh, update from bob uh, rice who is cto and co-founder of um Corum. Uh, so and uh, what i really like i think that it's very good if it works for them so they're working closely with community of developers offering grants and running several hackathons uh in inside this year to bring more project development on the quorum infrastructure and expand the ecosystem and <clears throat> you know many people like bullish on quorum you know even checking like coin market cap people are like uh, <laughs> want quorum to like uh, grow so it's like good sign uh, actually it is trading oh, okay for 4600 rank now which is a very small market cap for them especially with this uh, like supply we, we discussed here yeah, the change in supply because of new um airdrops uh, more and more of them coming uh, already and uh, you know if you receive your quorum you could put it actually in bitrix exchange for 
uh, yield farming with 5%. It is now available for only 14 days. Uh, and uh, actually, it is what I am doing as well as uh, Sologenic. You could put uh, there here and uh, Power Piggy with the same percentage of 5% and you will still be available for the airdrop so thank you guys for watching it is all i wanted to share with you today uh, have a good day bye bye